age that we're in. Um, so these are products you can do to protect your body from the radiation um, and the negative effects that occurs within your system. A cell phone, so on and so forth. And I get them lots of wonderful good facts about what's happening. Yeah, what, what, what does that um, have to do with the bees? Um, well, what's happening is the radio waves, the radio frequencies, because they're, they're information carrying radio waves that are going continually through the air. So what's happening is bees have cell-to-cell -cell communication like we do, and they require that cell-to-cell -cell communication to find their way back to their home. It's like a homing device within them. Oh, wow. And because of these radio waves are coming through them, they're, they don't have that cellular communication. Because your cell membrane has um, the receptor sites on the outside of it that detect radiation or frequencies. And so if it's detecting a frequency that's foreign and unknown and is perceived as dangerous, cell shuts down, it won't let out nutrients, it won't let nutrients in, it won't let toxins out. And then it also doesn't allow the cell cell communication. So with the bees, what's happening, they can't communicate to find their way back home. So without going home, they don't have their nutrition, they die. That's why so they're it's dying. So it's not so much chemical spraying and pesticides, no. it's Oh no, it's, no, it's radio phone. waves. That's right. why they couldn't figure it out. Because if you go to a beekeeper, they'll say the population's gone down at least by half within the last like three to five years. And it's like... There's like 200 million cell phone users in just U.S. alone. 80% of the planet is is wireless, and like at the end of 2000, right now there's about 12,000 um, wire, 12,000 wireless places. And by the end of um, 2008, when I mean places, I mean like a concentration of it. There's gonna be 78,000 just in this in the United States. So it's gonna like jump like I don't even know what it is like quadruple, whatever. Um, so it's really really affecting the environment. So, um, what would you suggest to help the bee population? I mean, other the than getting rid of cell, cell phones. What I mean. they have to actually switch to, which they started to, is going to fiber optics, which is in the ground. Uh, um, but it was a longer and more expensive process, so that's why they just did, you know, antennas and everything like that, without doing any research on whether or not it's going to be harmful for the environment. So that's for the bee solution, but that's something that we can't do. But if what's happening within your body is like people are having we're learning disabilities, autism is on the rise. It's also related. To to lear like learning disabilities, it's all related to the electric pollution. Hormone problems, kids that use Game Boys or anything like that, they're having prostate cancer, ovarian cancer, testosterone cancer, and it's all from using the Game Boys and things like that right there. Or if you put your computer on your stomach, my sister had ovarian cysts that developed, and it was from, from like from like just stress, it's a chronic stress on the body. So. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of other issues like like pacemakers they won't let you use pacemaker like with cell phones in some way there's some areas of pacemakers because it messes like the trains in the UK you can't use them because it messes with the pacemakers um, if you use if you talk on a cell phone for 500 minutes it increases your chance for brain and eye cancer by 140 percent by talking on it for 500 minutes most of us I know I use at least my 500 minutes that I get with my with my cell phone and I do not talk on it a lot. But you know, and even just carry if you carry it around on your belt, men, or you're you're developing like that's it's actually not if you had a pacemaker they would recommend not you putting it there. But if you put it on your, around your belt, it 30 percent of your sperm count is reduced by wearing it around your belt. It's also affecting your sex drive and your hormones because you're all endocrine system. And then the other thing we're doing is body scans, and that's where we take, they're taking. Um,
body and then it's balancing it back out by sending in the corrective frequency. So that one is a whole other ball game. But those are, this is basically a wellness boost is what we're doing here. Awesome, wow. Yeah. Alright, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye.